Hey y'all, today I'll be showing you how I made and installed these 6 inch lock extensions using some 12 inch afro kinky bulk hair that I got from xchair.com. So if you're interested in watching, go ahead and stay tuned. Say I'm proud of you. You don't have bumps and obstacles along the way. Hey y'all and welcome to Styles by Honey. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to tap that bell so you don't miss any notifications. And if you're a returning subscriber, you already know you lit. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you two things. I'm going to be showing you how I made these lock extensions and I'm going to be showing you how I installed them. This is the exahair.com Afro Kinky Human Hair Bulk 12 inches. Each bundle is 30 grams. I got four bundles and the color is a, like a 1B natural black. What I like about this hair, it can be bleached or dyed. Um, and there was a lot of hair packed into this bundle. And the hair was really soft. Um, like when I first got it out of the package, it was a bit crunchy. But once I washed the locks, like after I installed them, the hair was super soft. Um, way softer than I expected at least. It maintained this curly texture. And I'm gonna tell you, these four bundles, I was able to make a full head of locks, so. Um, more hair information, like the price and the link to purchase is in my description box below if you're interested. Um, when I got my package, it came with the four packs of hair, the four um, 30 gram bundles, and it came with two pairs of lashes, and I believe it came with a crochet hook, but I'm not too sure um, because I did end up using it. I had my own two hooks that I was um, alternating between. Um, the first hook that I had was from a pack of crochet hooks that I bought from Amazon. That is the single metal hook and that is 0.5 millimeters. And then I have a second crochet hook that has like two hooks on it. And that is a 0.75 millimeter hook. And I usually take one hook out. I only like it because it has the wide handle on it. And I got this crochet hook from my local beauty supply store. Now on to make the lock extensions. And then these lock extensions I made six inches long and I made them about one centimeter thick. They're not too packed in, but they're packed enough. And I wanted to give them like, make them a little bit fluffy so that it would kind of give off the starter lock texture. Even though they're lock extensions, I know. It's still a journey. So anyways, <laughs> we did 56 locks. And to start out these locks, to form them, I just grabbed a piece of hair and I started pushing my crochet hook through the center of the lock while I was rotating the outside hairs with my thumb. Okay, so I don't know if I said it before, but I grabbed the hair in between my corner and my thumb, or my fingers and my thumb, and then I would push the crochet hook in between while rotating the hair in between my fingers and my thumb. And that's what gives the lock its round shape. And that's also what keeps you from stabbing yourself. Now, it does wear out your finger, your thumb. Um, it feels weird, but if you're sliding it parallel to your fingers, you shouldn't be stabbing it. And that was my problem when I first started these. I used to always stab myself. So now I got it. I can push the crochet hook through. And basically you're just grabbing loose hair from one end and pulling it to the center or pulling it to the next side. And you just keep rotating up and down a lock until you form it. Then you wanna palm roll it to pack the hair in and then go through it with the crochet hook one or two more times. And then there's your lock. Um, a lot of blocks extensions have a rounded tip or like a rounded end. To do that, um, you would position a crochet hook a different way. Um, I don't really like the rounded end look. I like to leave the ends a little bit loose. Um, you'll see once I'm done, well, you're not gonna be able to see too much because I ended up um, twisting the ends up, but it just makes it look a little bit more natural to leave the ends loose. Like it makes it look a little bit more natural as a starter lock not a matured lock. If you're going for a matured lock look, then I would suggest you to pack the lock and to make the ends round. And this is the finished lock. This is how it turned out. 
and like I said I ended up making 56 six inch locks that were about one centimeter wide and now I'm going to show you how I installed them to start with her natural hair um, I washed her hair conditioned it moisturized it and then I parted it out and twisted her roots down and put them in a dryer for a little bit her hair is still a little bit damp. I did not blow it out at all. I kept it in its natural state so it'll be easier to blend in with the lock extension. So as you see, I got the lock extension and I spread her hair out like a fan. And then I put the lock extension in the middle of her hair and I wrapped her natural hair around it. And then the same method that I had to create the lock extension is the method that I used to blend or well, to crochet her hair her natural hair into the lock extension so you can see that i'm grabbing the lock and her natural hair in between my fingers and my thumb and i'm pushing the crochet hook through the middle and pulling it back through to the next side or to the middle while rotating it in between like twisting it back and forth and rotating it towards a clockwise position because that's the way that i have her new growth well that's the way that i have her roots twisted the only difference is like i'm not going all the way down the lock i'm concentrating where her hair ends or well, basically where her hair is loose at so that's about like a half inch to an inch away from her scalp all the way into the ends and then i'm gonna grab the crochet hook and i'm gonna point it downwards when i point it downwards to pull it out that's to grab the hair from the lock extension and pull it up to her natural hair. And when I point it upwards, that's to grab her natural hair and pull it down into the lock extension. So I'm just trying to get all of those little loose hairs intertwined with each other from her natural hair to the lock extension so they get all tangled and matted up and grow out beautifully. And now I'll be back towards the end to show you the finished look. And this is not a finished look, but I wanted to show you her parts compared to the size locks that she has. I will always suggest you to have your parts a little bit bigger than your lock extensions so that when your hair grows out, the roots can match the lock size. If your locks are bigger than your parts, eight times out of 10, it's gonna be too heavy for your new growth or it's gonna be too big for your new growth and it's either going to pop off or it's gonna look crazy. So yeah, just a little tip. And this is the finished look. It came out so, so cute. And it took way less time than I expected. I wish I could tell you how long it took me, but I wasn't keeping track of the time. I'm sorry. I'll try to for next time. But big shout out to my beautiful model, my baby girl. And big shout out to Exy here for sending this Afro Kinky Bow Care to review. More information and a link to purchase is in my description box below if you're interested. If you want to see more pictures this and videos, go ahead and how? check out my how? TikTok at Styles by Honey, this. Instagram at Styles by Honey with two eyes, and Pinterest Become at Styles by Honey. Become this? And a huge shout out to everyone supporting Styles by Honey. I love y'all so much. Mm.